How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Genesis video. I'm your host Jupiter and this is my video on jewels. Hope you guys enjoy. So we're going to get into this game here. Um, right here, I, I guess I'm thinking about what to do. So if you guys don't know what these different talents are, I'm going to just explain them as quickly as possible. So the first one, the red one, is physical. You get some HP, uh, you get uh, attack damage with your basic attacks, and you also get attack speed. Energy helps out casting abilities. You get... Uh, uh, you get energy damage starting off uh, for around 40. You seconds. also get, I believe, energy regeneration. Um, and or no, 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 energy. You get um, penetration. Then there's endurance, which grants you five HP per second and two energy per second. Uh, and that effect doubles when you're out of combat. This is pretty much what you want to go if you're playing a tanky character, because a lot of the characters in Genesis right now that are tanky have like some type of sustainability, which gives them energy, per, uh, which gives them health per second, which is very, very strong assault. skill to have. Um, here, I go ahead and I start pulling the lizards uh, for the jungler. He doesn't have to waste an ability or two. It also increases the speed of his clear so he can gank my lane sooner and uh, be ahead of the other jungler. Um, right here, I also try and body block some minions here. I, I body block the I second like minion and the third minion, but the first time. minion still walks by. I did slow him down just a little bit, uh, so that way the tower shot the first minion. Uh, so that I could uh, get, basically get a, a experience before Cat does. Also, that's really it's it's a really good thing to do because it also shoves her lane closer to the tower, um, which puts her in a more dangerous position for a gank. And because I'm playing Jules, Jules just has so much damage with uh, his abilities, and he's a tank. Uh, and Zeus comes in for a really early gank. <laughs> That's a little questionable there, buddy. But uh, we're going to try and go for these last hits here as well as we can. Um, they're really... I really like in the last hits in Genesis. I, I feel like they're... They're really easy to get, and they're not that difficult to, to handle. Um, as opposed to, like, other MOBAs that kind of start you off trying to figure out when the last hit is on the HP bar. Genesis just get, says, hey, shoot it here, and you'll, you'll kill it. Which is a very, very nice, uh, thing to have in, uh, in a MOBA, I think. Some people think it's, like, sacrilegious to, uh, have an, uh, an, a minion execution range, just because it takes away the difficulty of last hitting. But, uh, which is true, but um, I also don't think that last hitting should be as important um, in, in MOBAs as it is in, in others. And this MOBA is definitely clear that they want there to be more fighting it out as opposed to just farming. But you'll see here the rotations that I have to uh, get farm early and stuff. And I chase this minion down and decides to go attack the tower there and then I miss another minion in wave. Uh, but uh, I didn't miss that many, I got it. So right here, I'm just trying to stay behind the minions here um, to stay away from her poke. I'm not exactly sure why she's here without her support, but uh, yeah, it's super weird. I like to give my prey a head start. 
And uh, right here, I'm kind of waiting for this uh, insectoid to come out. Ooh, I... You're all staying with me. I'm waiting to pull the camp here because I'm trying to stack it. Basically, stacking this camp is uh, important because it grants you a decent amount of gold. And uh, it's also not too difficult for the solo laner to kill because the solo laner is basically tankier than most characters. And uh, you have enough uh, regen and stuff to deal with the... To deal with the, power. <laughs> the camp. I'm trying to zone her out Can of the I wave here. Your style? She's pretty much in, in, in death uh, <laughs> in death range here, so it's really dangerous for her here to be there. The bio spark. And right here, I kind of <laughs> try to figure something out. Here comes she just runs away. Then she comes back into wave, and I say, hey, take this. <laughs> That's something you do as jewels. It's really, really cheesy, but it's so much fun. Time for some shock therapy. And I'm just keeping the wave here so that my wave can come up, and I can uh, safely take the uh, camp here in a second. Uh, oh, oh, wasn't that shocking? I like to give my prey so as you can see now there's uh, two camps worth here and that's uh, gonna be around 300 gold for me just because I pulled it um, so yeah pulling camps is very strong it's called stacking if you wanted to know uh, as you can see they're kind of doing a lot of damage but uh, because I'm a tank it's all right More current, more power. <laughs> Every cell in my body is ready for battle. I like to go for Crimson. Uh, it allows me to stay on top of my target. And uh, also, why not? I mean, you're playing jewels. You do a lot of AoE damage basically all the time. Uh, and uh, that's really, really awesome to just kind of slow the target all the time, just always slowed. As you can see, she's having a hard time doing anything because I'm so tanky and I do damage from way further than she does. That's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, this meta is so strong. It's because uh, your solo laners can can really take a brute, uh, a bunch of damage in lane. Sometimes it doesn't work out as well, but uh, this game it worked out really well. I, I missed my ability there trying to get, get a little cheeky uh, smack from range, but it didn't work. And so she ults me here, and I just kind of walk away from it. It's not a big deal. I don't really know why she ulted there. I'm assuming it's because she's walking away, but uh, I think she stays. I like to give my prey a head start. And right here, I'm kind of just trying to kill her, and there I go, killing her with my first ability again. That's one of the things I've found out about Jules. This is first ability is really, really great at dealing damage to the wave, but also if, if you want to secure kills, you want to continuously use your first ability. You don't want to spam out your second ability as much because it's mainly just damage. You really want to use that for maybe a burst or something, but you don't want to use it to try and poke. You want to only use your first ability for a couple of reasons. Your first ability not only does more damage, but it also will eventually... Um, I mean, it, it gives you more for your, more bang for your buck. It does essentially almost the same amount of damage. I think it does a little bit less damage than your two, but uh, it's not that much of a difference. And then it also gives you a, a decent amount of heal whenever it hits a target and then hit back to you. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're you're using it correctly. And uh, yeah, so so here I go and pick this energy orb up. I don't want anyone else to pick it up. And uh, I go and I start their wraiths. Now, if you guys don't know about wraiths, wraith camp is a very, very big gold mine, pretty much. It's super powerful to ensure that you basically get it. And uh, it's super useful to uh, to get. It gives you 300 gold. So between the two camps, between sectoids and wraiths, you have, I mean, 600 gold between the two, and if you stack both of them twice, 
I mean, you got basically 300 times 4. I mean, you got 1,200 gold between those two camps alone. Really, really great to have. On top of that, Jules is just super great at pushing wave. And right here, I'm trying to slow push a little bit. Here comes Anguilla. This is also my first game as Jules, by the way, so. Oh, wasn't that shocking? I used that ability because I wanted to try to hit her through the uh, fog of war, and I wouldn't be able to do that with my first ability. I like to give my prey a head start. Here we go again, taking the insectoids. Um, really easy camp as as of right now. I mean, it's just so easy with Jules. His ultimate is, a, is basically a free cleanse, and it's also free to have. Just kind of walking around, it's a free passive and it's free damage if, if things are here being shot. And I also noticed that my jungler wasn't really jungling here anymore. He. Oh, I missed the reset there <laughs> on accident, but. Uh, Sometimes it happens, and it's not really a big deal if you miss it. Um, you are just kind of missing out on, you know, twice the amount of gold as you would have sometimes. But uh, the uh, lizards only really give you around 70 to 80 gold, and it's not really that much. And yeah, just solo things are happening. There's not many people. I can hear her trying to take the wraith camps. Uh, which is good for her. I mean, I Wraith like camps are going to keep her time. in the game as much as possible as she continues to, to take them before I do. But uh, it's also not exactly safe, especially now that I have a ward here. Here comes the bio spark. Right here, I, uh, I messed up. I tried here to cancel an ability. You're all staying with me. Explosive. More curlets. More power. Ha 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 ha. Sensational. I like to give my I decided to go ahead and take the Wraith start. Camps again. Another 300 gold for me. Into my pocket. You're all staying with me. Here comes Anguilla. Yeah, my team's also doing pretty well. It's kind of neck and neck for everyone else right now, but I'm definitely kind of just owning this kind of X right now. And right here, as you can see, I pulled them, and there's another insectoid camp right here for me to take, so... I like to give my prey a head start. Destructive. And that's around 300 gold for me again. You're all staying with me. Here comes Anguilla. here I see Amber kind of walking in because I warded there and I finally finished my uh, crimson there so uh, I'll be Explosive. able to basically slow everybody that I want Every cell in my body is ready for battle right there I decided to go ahead and get some uh, armor because I know that I Cat like X is my a really really strong character right now even though she's behind by a lot I'm still gonna be able to pretty much you know fight her but uh, I just want to ensure that she stays behind me by getting some defense. And uh, defense is always really great on Jules. He's got abilities that grant him armor and things like that. Uh, basically, the more opponents that are being shocked, the more armor essentially you have. Um, but uh, because I'm only versing 
her, really. Uh, I'm not really getting a big benefit from that ability. It's really mainly if if you you know if you're in a team fight and you're shocking like everybody. You know that's that times time. five, and I think it gives you around 25 additional per person. So um, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty strong ability in my opinion, and keeps Jules alive for quite a long time. You're all um, so I go back to getting the wraiths here. Just really trying to uh, make sure that I get the wraiths and get that gold um, before they do. I leave the other camp because I'm not sure how safe it is here. Uh, and I also want to get the insectoids uh, as well. Um, it's, just kind of, it's just kind of safer here. I'm thinking about what item I'm getting. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just clear the wave here. Get some bonus damage on my autos. No biggie. I like to give my prey a head start. Here comes the bio spark. As you can see, I'm just trying to kill it before the next uh, wraith spawns here. More current, more power. Just because, and the reason why I'm not stacking it is, is basically because I could just use the gold, and uh, you know, there's no real use in stacking it if, if at this point for me, because um, I'm just able to take it every time it comes up. So just get the gold instantly instead of uh, trying to stack it really. Here comes Anguilla. Sensational. As you can see, I've got a ton of gold, gold at this fallen. point. A ton of gold. I like to give my prey a head start. <clears throat> right here, I kind of wait a little bit. Um, I think this was a mistake here. I could have gone to the jungle here. Uh, down at, in my jungle and uh, gotten some camps. Cool. Uh, usually, truly on there uh, before their next spawn comes, and I would have had uh, you know double camp gold from down there because uh, the wraiths here were already I like to gone. My prey a head start. Excuse me. Whoa. Um, and I would have had just a little more gold there. So that was just a little more bit of a misplay, but it's not, it's not huge. Not huge. Here comes Anguilla. Sorry. <laughs> you were always Just made a mess in my kitchen. I'm sad. I guess I have to clean it up. I like to give my prey a head start. Yeah, a bit of a big Explosive. fight happens here. The enemy's top tower has fallen. A big fight. They managed to get me here, but um, it's alright. I'm not really worried. Uh, my uh, gold income at this point is just so large. I feel like I'm, I'm just kind of like raining money on myself this whole time and the enemy team is just like what do we do this Jules is a fed boy and I'm just kind of like I'm fed so I'm just going to walk around and take camps that I want here comes Angula here comes Angula for the two millionth time <laughs> people are saying that they really want that uh, those voice lines to be turned off to be able to be turned off <laughs> They're really getting bugged. I like to give my prey a head start. Oh, sure you do, buddy. I'm sure you do. See, so a bit of a walk of shame here, going all the way back into lane, but um, that's all right because we just get to go back in our jungle, more and I uh, get to take more insectoids, more <laughs> and uh, get to walk over here. Here comes Anguilla. And uh, I noticed that they took the Wraith camps. For whatever reason, our nameless just kind of starts taking those. I'm not 
not sure exactly why he takes him, but he does. I like to give my prey a head start. And here I'm kind of just rotating around, checking stuff out on the other lanes, seeing how everyone else is doing. Here comes Anguilla. Anyways, we're getting, we're starting to get behind in kills here because our team is just pushing up. And these are the butters. So the butters, in my opinion, um, are the second like most important camp uh, next to race to, uh, to stack. The reason for that being is because butters are um, the uh, second hardest camp to kill, and the first hardest camp to kill is actually uh, wraiths. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure you stack butters uh, because the butters Korea. grant you around 250 gold, and that's fallen. really, really strong, especially if you can, uh, sorry, not 250, but they grant you, I think, 200, oh, 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 around 200 that? gold per clear for butters, um, something like that, and I uh, have my notes I here, like to give my and the wraiths give you around start. 300 gold. Yeah, butters give you 100 40 to 150 sectoids give you 190 to 200 so sectoids are really important to get butters are really important to get and so are wraiths wraiths grant you that highest the enemy's drive. middle tower has uh, fallen the only thing about wraiths is they're literally on the other side of the map that you have to basically deal with but enough about the, the monsters in the jungle i'm just gonna go ahead and smack this She's gonna run away. Selena's gonna jump in. She's probably gonna kill me here. Cause she's got her ultimate. I'm trying to kite her around her ultimate for a little bit, but eh, it's not that much room to move in. Yeah, so the thing about Selinda is in her ultimate she takes reduced damage, so um, you know, if, if you're forced to fight her, you, you probably wanna get some items that allow you to be untargetable or allow you to stop taking damage while you're in there. Um just because, I mean, if she's on par with you and she ults, there's pretty much no way unless you somehow are strong enough to just one-shot her. Um, there's, there's, there's pretty much no way unless you can outlast her DPS. And uh, I don't have a completed defense item. Um, I, don't, I don't have two defense items yet, so the one defense item is just not enough to uh, keep me safe from her. Um, and also the defense item that I have isn't the one that gives me health regen. This one, I You're believe, is Promethean Shield, and it just, uh, it does damage, uh, uh, around me as an area. More current, more power. <laughs> she probably went physical, so she kind of has some, uh, some attack speed and like some more give my damage. Depending on how she wanted to start her her stuff, and so yeah, I just come back to bot lane because that rotation was just not good, and uh, start farming up again. Just kind of trying to really get fed, and uh, the sooner I get that, the better. Tower is under attack. I've noticed that it's pro it's it's really good to start off with the damage boots on jewels, oh, but uh, I think after the damage boots probably just want to go straight defense items because um, defense items in, in, in uh, Genesis are super strong right now. Uh, yeah our team's just continuously fighting and losing <laughs> at this point I, I think I recognize the pattern uh, the team's just decided to walk in and die as opposed to just control the map which um, I think our team composition is better doing that than team fighting compared to theirs more current, more power. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in back, trying to do some damage over time here. I get myself a double. Smack her here and I get my triple. Easy stuff. This is my quadra right here. And it gets stolen. 
so, so sad. There goes my quadra. It's very, very unfortunate. But, uh, that's what Every it is. Cell in my body is sometimes you don't battle. get the quad, and sometimes you do. It's just what happens. Am I having your style? <clears throat> and that's kind of how you want to play as jewels. You want to be... You know, you're a tank, and you, and you want to have presence, but you, sometimes you want to have your presence be in the shape of, I do I AoE like damage, be scary, and, uh, and sometimes you want to have your, your presence just be like, hey, I have a big of HP, and you don't, so, you know, um, you know, I'll kill you. And then there's also ways, obviously, basic tanking, where you're just literally taking the brunt of the damage for your carries to just continuously stay safe. But, uh, some people just don't do that in Genesis. They just attack whoever and they kill whoever. And here I go, just going to a quick jungle clear. Our Nameless really is not jungling at all. He He's just neglecting all of this gold. It's one of the reasons why I think he, uh... I like to give my prey essentially starts fight. throwing the game, pretty much. But our Apollo is just not doing good. Not a bit. The enemy's top tower has fallen. Stellar. Uh, that's a double kill for Cat. She's literally behind all game and uh, starts rotating and she starts getting kills. And that's the thing about Cat. She's gonna get kills. She's a really, really strong character. You know, she she goes in. She she has a lot of damage potential. She builds t attack damage and she gets a double smack uh, with her dash and she's got mobility and I mean she's just got all this stuff uh, she's, she's just super good no matter where she goes she's, she's able to bring it back by late game which I think a lot of the carries end up doing in general a lot of the carries are just super late game potential except for our Apollo apparently more power as you can see, that's that's my ultimate and uh, first ability coming in clutch there, just doing a lot of damage, I like to electrocuting my everything. A head start. Pretty strong stuff. I mean, I I just have so much gold at this point; it's kind of ridiculous. You're all staying with me. Am I upping your style? Continue getting the gold here. And this is really how I like to play solo lane at this point. I really like kind of clobbering lane real quick and then getting all the gold and then taking the tower and then controlling the wraith camp because that's just going to increase your gold income by a lot more. Right here, I was talking to myself. I was basically like, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I step up here, they group and I die. And the second I walked, uh, I took a step on that... Uh, that upper ledge there, uh, they all showed up and I'm like, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about Genesis, is you can be s as, as fed as possible, but uh, walking into their base is just, by yourself, is never a good idea. Just don't do it. Unless you're Galath, and you can, but, you know. I'm not playing Galath, I'm playing Jules, you know. <laughs> And that's another thing about Jules is it, Jules is really interesting because it, you know he he has a lot of sustain. He gets pretty tanky, especially in team fights, but he doesn't have any crowd control. And that's the thing about Jules is uh, compared to some of the other solo laners is that uh, you know his his crowd control isn't what carries like him. It's actually his potential spot. of area damage. I mean, he can literally kill people at the other the side of the team fight just because fallen. he stood there and. and sent in one ability uh, and of course he regens a lot of HP on like a, more like a lot of HP more I mean I'm regening I think 200 to 300 HP here every time I press my L1 so there's our my Explosive. L2 You're all continuing the farm and my team continuing the uh, siege on to nothingness. Don't know what they're doing. I like to give my prey. A Don't really start. care. You know, this is kind of solo queue here. You know, this is this is what I'm pretty sure ranked is gonna feel like <laughs> potentially for us solo in mains. If you guys are out there, <laughs> leave a like. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much what it's like in, in solo lane at this point. You know, you specifically with the. Uh, 
with some characters and some team comps, sometimes grouping is just the worst thing you can possibly do. And uh, if the other team groups, then you can kind of rotate to clean up and stuff, but you don't want to initiate team fights with our team. Our team has a bad initiate. A very, very bad initiation. Our, our nameless basically goes in and gets one shot I by like Amber and Papa Lock and Zeus and I mean just like everybody's just it's not a good team comp to initiate with. You're all staying with me. Yeah, so so right there is me trying to group with the team and it just does not work out. Anytime I group with the team, they, they, they're just all over the place. It, you can't get a handle on the game. Nameless is just in, in there. Uses, uh, uses that ability pretty early and tries to solo their Nexus and kinda just gets wrecked. Explosive. Yeah. Literally just walks in there and dies. Don't know what's going on. He's crazy. Here comes Anguilla. So I really hope you guys are enjoying Genesis and, uh, you know, especially as much as I am, I'm, I'm really enjoying Genesis. Uh, I like uh, to give my prey. Every time I get on the PS4 not. now, it's almost like, you know, my, uh, you know, back in my high school days, whenever I, uh, was able to play League of Legends on my, on my computer, you know, you sit down and you, you, you're logging in and you're just excited to get into a game and, and it's really great having that feeling again. I don't think Here I ever had that Anguilla. feeling playing Smite, um, and uh, it's just really great to, to have that feeling of, you know, I really, really enjoy this game and uh, I'm just excited to learn things and to get better and everything like that. So, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you, what you guys are feeling I every like time you turn your PS4 on and you're, you're getting ready to play Genesis and, uh, you know, Genesis comes up, you know. It's just something to talk about. And then over here, getting some more minions. Uh, and uh, if you didn't know what that little Here blink above my head is, like that right there, um, basically there's two parts to Jules Ultimate. The first part, actually, I should probably explain my abilities here. Uh, you know, I forgive me. I'm, uh, this is my first, uh, you know, actual gameplay video, so I'm very new to this. And uh, so, pretty much my first ability, uh, you you send a chain lightning through enemies and. Uh, I don't think it's infinite, that would be a little ridiculous, but uh, it goes pretty far range. And uh, if you are in the area of the last like thing it shocks, it bounces back to you sucks. and heals you for some regen. Um, on top of that, you have your second ability, which is like an area shock, um, that shocks in a big circle. And uh, whenever you use that, you basically slow enemies in that area for uh, a period of time. And then Here your next ability Anguilla. is his passive defensive ability. Uh, basically, it's the one where he gains armor. But also, it adds shock damage to his autos, so that Here way when he's autoing opponents, they have this debuff where they basically shock for damage. And uh, the more enemies you have shocked for Goodbye. damage, the, uh, the more armor you get. And that's where Jules becomes a super tanky guy because he's getting regen off of his first ability and he's shocking everybody. So he then also has armor because he's shocking everybody. And uh, then he can get his regen back. And then his ultimate finally is uh, like essentially it's a periodic it's cleanse. Um, and then on top of the cleanse, if there are any enemies that are shocked in the area in front of you, um, you send out another shocking lightning to, to that location and you shock them as well uh, for a second shock. It's kind of like, like an aftershock, I guess. So uh, he's got a lot of uh, AoE and just really, really awesome damage because you throw in your first ability and you shock the person. You throw in your second ability and you shock the person. And by then your ultimate would have gone off. And there's basically three instances where you're just shocking the person to death for probably like 200 to 300, maybe even 400 damage per shock. Um, that's a lot of damage, especially for a tank. And then on top of that, you've got your, your, 
your, your regen, your so you can, you know, try and guide attack. team fights back to keep yourself alive while also damaging everybody and things like that. So, and that's why Jules, I feel, is is your one of the more interesting tanks because fallen. he doesn't just go into a team fight and stand there and kill everybody like some of the other tanks do with their like, like crowd control and they just end this crowd control forever and things like that. Destructive. Jules is a little bit more of a passive tank where he kind of stays on the side and just does damage and continues to do damage until finally, you know, it's time to burst people and chase them down. But as you can see, I'm trying to group with the team, I'm trying to do stuff, and, uh, you know, they're, they're just too far ahead at this point. Uh... Of course, I am pretty much the only person to walk around with like 30k gold, essentially. Uh, not much to show for it because my team is literally just walking to the base solo and dying. But, uh, you know, that's the part of MOBAs that, you know, eventually people are going to need to learn how to laugh at that. You know, it's it's something that's going to happen in all MOBAs. It's something that's never going to leave. And it's it's something that even happens in other games that aren't MOBAs, you know, there's there's people who, who don't really know what they're doing in almost all sorts of games, and so in MOBAs it's no different, and I think I as, like as a MOBA player and as, start. you know, a MOBA fan base, I think we need to understand that that kind of behavior, it's not good, <laughs> but you gotta just learn to laugh at it instead of letting it get to you because it just goes on a little too much you know it goes on too much for it to not be to be for it to be something that's like a, oh no my team's bad what like <laughs> yeah it's, it's just one of those things and here I am trying to get our Wraith camp, uh, and that's another thing, is I've noticed like a lot of people aren't utilizing the Wraith start. camp on duo side. The duo side should be the people who are taking Wraith camp the most. Cool. <laughs> Why am I yawning so much? Oh my gosh. More so, More power. so basically in duo lane, what you're going to want to end up seeing eventually, your supports are going to be, it's basically going to be the support's job to go in and... Anguilla. And, uh, and and stack that camp. And once that camp is stacked, they go back to lane, and then the next minute comes by and they stack the camp again. And by four minutes, you've got four stacks of Wraith camp. And let me tell you, that's around 12,000... Like uh, sorry, that's around 1,200 gold start. for you and your carry to split between each other. And that keeps you on par with the solo laner. We, uh, I tried it with my, my four stack the, uh, actually a couple minutes ago. Uh, just before I finished this recording, and uh, it worked out really, really well. My my carry Anguilla. got super uber fed, and uh, was doing just a crap ton of damage. Uh, oh, ho, ho, wasn't that shocking? But as you can see here, we're at, they they are at 58 kills. Every you know they got two more kills, and we are at 30. Battle. And I'm, I'm really trying to just kind of get the team to not try and siege anymore. Like you know, they're, they're basically winning in kills. They need to stop fighting and they just need to rotate and take the towers and things like that. But uh, as you can see, it's just to no avail. This person's going to die here and that's going to be there. 60 kills in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm um, sorry if I'm a little, uh, you know, monotone here. It is nighttime here in a... It's like 1.51 in the morning, so I'm a little tired, but um, you know I'm not complaining about anything. I enjoyed making the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one. See you later. Bye.